rguru's ANOVA function is a tool that allows us to test the equality of a response mean over different levels of a factor variable. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the dataset Plant Growth from the R Datasets repository. If you'd like assistance loading this dataset, please reference our video, Uploading a Dataset from an rguru repository. The plant growth data provides the results from an experiment to compare plant growth which was measured by the dried weight of the plants, and the variable group consists of the three levels, treatment 1, treatment 2, and control. I'm going to test the equality of the mean weights between the three levels, and I will also show you how to perform post hoc tests. From the analytics toolbar, click on the analysis dropdown, and then scroll over to ANOVA. Let's begin by selecting the plant growth dataset from our dropdown, and our response value is going to be the weight of the plants. Now below you'll notice two tabs titled one-way and two-way. We are in the correct tab for this analysis since we are doing a one-way ANOVA. To learn more about the two-way tab, check out our video, Two-Way ANOVA. In the factor dropdown, let's select the variable group. This includes the three groups across for which we'd like to test the equality of means, for our response variable weight. It's important to note that in this example we are fitting a fixed effects model. In problems where the group effects are random, we would be fitting a random effects model. You would then need to click on the random checkbox in this case. At the bottom of the dialog box, you'll see two more checkboxes, one for diagnostics and the other for post hoc tests. Once checked, their buttons become active so that you may select various options for diagnostics and post hoc tests. By default, the Diagnostics tool will provide you with three plots and apply the Levine's test of equality of variances. There are other plots available should you need to do further exploration of your ANOVA model. Our Guru's default post hoc test is Tukey's Honestly Significant Difference test. For this example, I'm going to leave this dialog box alone. Tukey's HSD test will provide us with the test of equality for the response means between all pairs of treatments. For example, treatment 1 against treatment 2, or the pair control and treatment 1, etc. You get it. Now at this point, we are ready to hit the preview icon to see our results. Our guru starts the ANOVA report by showing our data summary of the data source and then breaks down the observed values into each group. This is then followed by the ANOVA table. Note that for our example, the p-value is 0 0.011591, which is less than 5%. Therefore, at the 5% level of significance, we would reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is a difference between the means in the three groups. The BFB column computes the Bayes factor bound. Here our value is 5.58. This indicates that the odds of observing our data under the alternative hypothesis of unequal means relative to equal means is 5.58 to 1, which again leads us to reject that our means are equal. Box plots are very useful when trying to interpret these results because they give us a bird's eye view of each distribution. Looks like treatment 1 and treatment 2 have the biggest difference. The residual versus fitted plot lets us check for violations in the model assumptions such as nonlinearity, unequal variances, and outliers. Everything looks good here. And the QQ plot lets us check for assumptions of normality. Again, we're looking pretty good. The Levine's test of inequality reconfirms what we see in the residual versus fitted plot, namely that the variance for the different groups is not significantly different. And lastly, we need to dive a little deeper into Tukey's HSD. Our guru provides you with a table and the confidence interval plot for these results. With an adjusted p-value of 0 0.012, we can see that the means between treatment 1 and treatment 2 are significantly different, reconfirming what we saw in the box plots. If you would like further details and examples on how to use the ANOVA function, we encourage you to reference the chapter Analysis of Variance from our user guidebook. 